In this segment, we'll show you how the standard two-stage trigger operates and its components. The eight parts that make up the standard trigger group are two hammer trigger pins, the trigger, trigger spring, disconnector, disconnector spring, and the hammer with a J-hook spring. The trigger subassembly parts can be purchased as individual components, as kits, and already installed in certain lower receivers. When the hammer is cocked and the fire control selector is in the safe position, the shaft of the safety selector prevents the rear trigger extension from pivoting upward, stopping the primary sear from disengaging. When you rotate the safety selector to the fire position, a cut in the safety selector shaft allows the trigger extension to pivot upward as the trigger is pulled to the rear. The hammer hook disengages from the trigger, which causes the hammer to move forward in an arc with power being provided by the hammer spring, striking the firearm pin and discharging the firearm. After the firearm discharges, the bolt carrier moves rearward to recock the hammer. While the bolt carrier is returning to battery and the trigger held back, the hammer engages the disconnector, preventing the rifle from double firing. Pressure from the disconnector spring holds the hammer by the hook until pressure on the trigger is released. As pressure is released from the trigger, the force from the trigger spring pushes the trigger upward and the hammer sear engages the trigger sear, resetting the hammer and trigger to fire again. There are two standard sizes of trigger pins available for the AR-15. The trigger and hammer pins retain and act as the shafts on which the hammer and trigger operate. Both the trigger pin and the hammer pin will be the same size. Some manufacturers use specific sizes that you should be aware of. The most common pin size is 154 thousandths. This is found on most military and civilian rifles. The other size is 171 thousandths, which is found in Colt Sporter rifles. When replacing the existing trigger group for your rifle, measure the hammer or trigger pin diameter with a set of calipers. The standard trigger group has a trigger pull of around 5 pounds or more and has some take up and creep before it breaks, which is good for combat but not precision shooting. This is another area where many shooters will make changes to their rifles. Some of these aftermarket triggers use the same types of parts as the standard trigger group that we just described. This segment will be helpful for you to understand how these components work and interact with each other.